Hey guys, just wanted to give you an explanation and, and a demo real quick of how OneGage works with Phytech systems. So uh, OneGage is a really versatile system. You can use lots of different types of screens, phones, tablets, um, pretty much whatever you want. And um, it will connect directly to your Phytech system and allow you to see gauges in another way besides just your handheld. So uh, the idea is that one gauge uh, will connect and listen into the communication that goes between the handheld and the ECU. So uh, whenever you purchase a kit, I'll provide a Y cable or a T that will allow you um, a simple plug and play installation for the PhiTech. I'm gonna just plug right into the data port and send all that data um, both to the handheld so you can continue to use the handheld and to the one gauge screen. So you can see on a lot of these screens, um, I'm showing the information that's coming from the Phytech system from the handheld. So of course you've got RPM on there. Um, your map is displayed as a vacuum boost reading down here in the bottom right corner. Um, that's something that can be configured if you wanted to see the actual map reading, that's fine. Um, coolant temp is here in the upper left, 68 degrees right now. AFR right here in the bottom corner. Um, and if you scroll through some of these different um, Phytech settings and readings, um, of course they're going to match up. The information's coming um, directly from the Phytech. So air temp we've got right here up in the top right. Um, cylinder temp I have set as EGT down on the bottom. Um, and then your battery reading is 13.8. So, um, you know, I've gotten a lot of questions about how these connect. Uh, basically, your handheld is still required because it's the handheld that starts the communication with Phytech. So um, there's, you have a couple options. Either um, you can continue to, to use your handheld and uh, basically whenever you start your vehicle, you're going to have to push the button um, to start that data communication between the handheld and the ECU. Otherwise, the ECU doesn't broadcast any of the data. So um, there is an easy way to get around this, though. Um, you can pretty easily um, just disassemble this Phytech unit. So I'm just going to briefly show you. Um, if you take the four screws out of the back and then pull the button off the front and take the lid off, um, this bottom terminal right here for the push button, um, if you solder one of the re relay wires that one gauge will provide, um, it, one gauge will automatically trigger this button whenever um, the unit starts up. So that way you could stash away the handheld when you're not using it. You could put it in your glove box or something like that um, and it would be automatically triggered. So there'd be no reason um, that you would have to have the handheld out and ready to go unless you, unless you really wanted it. So like I said earlier, um, lots of options. Uh, for one gauge, you can add any sensors you want. So, of course, um, if you want a trans temp or oil temp, um, different sensors like that, those are things that you could easily add. So now that we're not getting sensor readings, um, everything's going to show up as blank because I unplugged the Phytech. But um, you get the idea that um, lots of versatility here. Happy to answer any questions. Um, you can reach out to us. We have a Facebook page, facebook.com slash one gauge or the one gauge dot com. I'm happy to answer any questions and explain how it works in more detail if you need it. Thanks.